Cannon and Kettles here on CBS FM. And a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, notes to send this one out to a lot of people here. It's from Gino's Pastry Shop. And I uh, says, Cousin Brucey, you're a very special person. Happy birthday. Well, that's not, you're rushing it a little bit. It's not till uh, the 13th or thereabouts. And he says, you're a special person. I look at you, and I think of an energizer battery. Because you keep on going, going, going. Yup, and believe me, a lot of energy in there. And that's Jerome of Gino's uh, Pastry Shop, Belmont Avenue. Off oh, they have in the Bronx. Maybe you ought to go there and ask them to bake me a, a birthday cake. I wonder if they have enough dough for that one. Oh, it's going to be a big one. All right, let me take a telephone. Thank you, Genos. Thank you very much. 1-800-367-1101 here on CBS FM. Uh, hi, you're on the radio. Hi, Brucey. This is Dania from the Bronx, home of the winning bombers. Yeah. I'd like to dedicate tonight Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me by Mel Carter. Mm -hmm. For Felix, the love of my life and the light of my universe. Nice. Beautifully, beautifully said. Carter, nicely done. Good sound, CBS FM with your cousin BC. Hey, I want to hear some emotion, more emotion about our Yankees win. I mean, this is fantastic. You realize what this means? We possibly can have it. They'll go for the pennant next against the uh, the bird, those birds, those bird droppings, the Orioles, whatever they're called. And uh, we'll take that. And then we're going to have a World Series. Think, wait, I have to ask Marie who the other side is, you know, the, the other league. I have, I, uh, I have not kept track of that. It's ten and a half, uh, make it nine and a half minutes before nine o'clock here on CBS FM. Cousins in about oh, 10 minutes from now, a tribute to Charlie Greer that I really want you all to listen to very, very carefully. CBS FM 101.1. I'm going to give you a chance now to win a pair of tickets to see the hit Broadway musical Grease at the Eugene O'Neill Theater. Now, to win a pair of tickets, what you have to be is the first person to call, and Maria is standing by and her operator is standing by, at 1 800 367 1101. Name any three songs I played this hour, which, of course, I was supposed to, but I, I've told you to keep it track of it. That's all right. We're friends, right? Don't tell anyone. You can win only one call in contest every 90 days. Indecision of the judges is absolutely final. 1 800 367 1101. Give the cuz a buzz right now. This will be now, we're not going to take any dedications. This will be for the tickets to Greece and Monday. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i tell you more about that in a few moments. We're going to do over there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your cousin Busey Show tonight here on 101.1 is sponsored in part by 1-800-ATM-STORE. I love talking about this because here is an opportunity for me to help you. You've been so good to me all these years. Let me help you. Now, in today's business world, certain merchants are always miles ahead of, comp of you, competitors, right? Always seem to be on the cutting edge of retail innovation. Well, they probably have the money, the bucks to spend on merchandising and marketers and things like that. Why not join a growing number of companies and discover a new marketing strategy that guarantees you to increase your business, improve your cash flow, aren't those three lovely words, and make it more convenient for customers to purchase goods and services. The ATM store, they want to revolutionize your business by activating your present credit card equipment, immediately allowing you to accept ATM cards from over... 30 million of us local tri-state area ATM cardholders. Making you more money? Now here's the bit. That's one I love. You don't have to accept checks anymore. Right? Just use the ATM card. Never a chargeback. Quick cash turnaround. And by the way, they're going to install this little pin pad for you free. Now, this can be uh, used for any type of business, by the way. This is a deal. Especially auto dealerships, restaurants, food markets, convenience stores, bowling alleys. I don't care what it is. I've had hundreds and hundreds of people call the ATM store and say, yeah, we're on. This works. For a limited time only, the ATM store will install, like I just said, an ATM pin pad free. That's a $300 value right now. No charge. So look at that. And uh, the deal? The deal is great. Wait till you hear what they charge you for the deal. It's great. You'll love it. More information, call 1-800-ATM-STORE. Put your company finally on the cutting edge. 1-800-ATM-STORE. Bank processing for the 21st century now. And now they are expanding once again. So the ATM store told me that they're accepting applications for sales positions. You want a, a new career, a great career? This is exciting. Call them too. Same number, 1-800-ATM-STORE. Cousins, call now. You owe this to yourself. In a changing world like ours, some things should never change. Like what it felt like to become a father. Taking her to her first ball game. And walking her down the aisle. You've changed, the world has changed. Even so, at Brooklyn Union, we believe some things should never change. One of them is our dedication to giving our customers the best possible service. We've strengthened our commitment to customer service with meaningful performance guarantees. 
And from now on, if we don't show up for a service call when we said we would, we'll credit your next gas bill with $30. It's our way of saying we're serious about service. Pride in our work, pleasing our customers. The values we built the company on. At Brooklyn Union, the fundamental things still apply. Sometimes my headaches were really bad. It bothered me, so I mentioned it to my doctor. She recommended a Rudis KT. Now there's a Rudis KT, the non-prescription strength of a Rudis. So potent, just 25 milligrams is as effective as 400 milligrams of Motrin IV, 440 of Aleve, or 1,000 of Tylenol. Now as tough as my headaches get, I know a Rudis KT will get rid of them fast. A Rudis KT, the potent medicine for pain. In the green box, uses directed comparisons based on two-tablet dosage. That was number one, CBS FM with you, cuz. It's three minutes now before 9 o'clock here on CBS FM. I have a winner. Is everybody else relaxed? I'm going to do this again. We'll give away some more tickets to the great hit Broadway musical, Grease. I have a winner. I'll announce that winner coming up real soon, so stand by for that, too. Sheila. Sheila called me here at 101.1 and said, Brucey, and she lives over in Co-op City of the Bronx. Play my favorite record. My Juanita. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, we all uh, found out, well, in each own way, sometime during this past week, that Charlie Greer passed away. I was in uh, Orlando at Disney World getting ready to do our program when my program director, Joe McCoy, came over to me and told Maria and myself that Charlie had passed, went to the next life. Uh, it made me very sad. Of course, we were, we were having a great time. They're getting ready to go on the air, and this put a... Ah, tremendous uh, pallor, I guess you can say, over it. And really, the, the, the entire day I spent thinking about Charlie. The last time I was with Charlie was at the uh, Rock and Roll Radio Greats reunion. It was last year. And I said to Joe that, uh, boy, Charlie does not look too good. He, uh, he was kind of slow. He was uh, moving much slower than I usually saw. I remember Charlie. Charlie was always very fast and never would slow down. But then, as soon as Charlie went on the air, if you remember, it was Charlie Greer. Something happened. I just wanted to let you into a, a little personal note. I called his family. I spoke to his son. I spoke to his son at the family home in uh, Ohio. And uh, as you, most of you know by now, Charlie passed away due to complications that uh, came from lung cancer. Charlie was a very heavy smoker, I remember that. And uh, it always concerned me all the life that I knew this, this friend of mine. And I was the same, Charlie, can you, you know, cut down a little bit? He would never would. He was a chain smoker and he always smoked. Well, he did uh, eventually... It eventually got him, and he passed away. Now, the personal note I want to give you, his son told me he passed away very peacefully. He said goodbye to the children and the family, right? And then he just decided he opted not to fight it. He told his doctors he did not want to fight the lung cancer. So he went to the hospital, and he passed away last week. Now, uh, when people ask me, you know, how I feel about this guy, not only did I lose a very good friend, a good friend, but I lost... A, a colleague who I'll never forget. So Charlie will always be alive with Cousin Brucey. I'll never forget him. CBS FM, a tribute to Charlie Greer. Mrs. Greer's skinny boy, Charlie. God bless you, Charlie. I'm sure you found the peace that your wonderful religion that you found late in life has promised you. I'm sure you're with her. I'm sure you're happy. And all I can say is for a guy who is about as corny as you can get without becoming her Oscar Anderson, you're one of the good people around, and you'll always be around. We miss you, Charlie Greer. I'm Harry Harrison, and I was very saddened to learn of the loss of a personal friend and a friend of radio, Charlie Greer. I first met Charlie when I moved from WMCA to WABC in 1968. He was the all-night man, and he welcomed me warmly when I arrived.
Charlie was always pleasant and friendly and had an endless supply of funny stories about his days in radio. And no matter what time you tuned in, he'd be there on 77 doing a super job, keeping the all-night audience happy, playing the hits and telling them about Dennis and Clothes or some other familiar sponsor. And of course, Charlie was always with us for our popular CBS FM DJ reunions these past years. Well, old friend, you'll be remembered as a, a real radio great, and I will miss you. Mrs. Greer's boy, Charlie, was a credit to her as he was a credit to the radio world. Hi, everybody. This is Ron Lundy. Uh, we've been uh, reminiscing about our old buddy, Charlie Greer, around CBS for a couple of days now. And uh, I remember Charlie so much. I was with Charlie uh, June the 10th, the last time I saw Charlie, June the 10th, uh, that was uh, 1995 for the rock and roll uh, radio greats over at the uh, Museum of Television and Radio. Uh, Charlie was doing his show live, and I was up, and we were talking about it. And for anybody that ever heard Charlie Greer, you remember what a storyteller he was, and just a just a great guy. God bless you, Charlie, wherever you are. Charlie Greer. And from midnight till 6 in the morning, it's your Charlie Greer show on the station with music power. Dennison, a men's clothier, Route 22, Union, New Jersey, open 10 a.m. to 5 the next morning, says... Swing, Charlie, swing! Remember your favorite song. Let's sing along. CBS FM. We're broadcasting from the museum. Swing! Swing, Charlie, swing! Swing, Charlie's in. <laughs> yeah, I'm Charlie Greer. I take the credit for it, and Always I take Charlie. the blame for it, too. Well, my parents take the blame for that. Oh, no. Anyway, it's, it's a thrill to be here at the Museum of Television and Radio. I thought we were going to be bronzed before they brought us in. <laughs> You haven't noticed? <laughs> A couple of guys got stewed. Mandela Bass and Rescue Me, 1965. That was a big hit then. I'm reminded of a of a promise that I made to my wife before we got married that I would rescue her and I would take care of her for the rest of her life. I said I'd swim the widest river, the deepest river, and and climb the highest mountain for her. And then I threw my back out, just carrying her over the, <laughs> the threshold. <laughs> oh, I've got a, a wonderful gentleman over here to my left, and uh, you all know him by the name of Ron Lundy. That's, would, you, would anybody like to hear a Denison commercial? Yeah. Well, I tell you, this is the way they went. Denison, a men's clothier, Route 22, Union, New Jersey, who's open 19 hours a day, 10 a.m. until 5 the next morning, says, P.T. Barnum must be right when he says there's a sucker born every minute. Now, you and I know, working 19 hours a day, we can sell more for less than a store that closes at 4. So let's drop the hook, line, and sinker to find the sucker who went to the store but got there after 4. So the sucker takes a day off and he loses a day's pay. He gets hooked on the line and waits till the next day, buys a $75 suit, and was took on the hook for 50 in pay. Now, what did that schnook get? A $75 suit. What did he pay? 125 fish on a dish. Boy, as a college dropout, I protest to what is this world coming to? Just bring money. Money talks, nobody walks. At Denison Close, Route 22, Union, New Jersey, open 10 a.m. till 5 the next morning. Now, it says close tonight and all day Sunday. Well, they're closed. They've been closed for years. <laughs> Shocked and saddened by the news of the passing of Charlie Greer. Charlie Greer played a really important part in the early days of my development as a radio personality, and I don't even think he, he knew it at the time. I reminded him of it. But uh, back in the mid-60s, a young man by the name of Sonny Taylor and myself, who we've worked together many, many times, many, many places. He's been my program director. I've been his program director. But in the mid-60s, when we were young, up-and-coming radio personalities, Charlie Greer invited us up to WABC many times to sit in with him on his all-night show, as he did those great, great, wonderful commercials for Denison's The Men's Clothier on Route 22 in Union, New Jersey. Words of wisdom, encouragement, telling us about the pitfalls, the places to go, the places not to go. And those, those lessons just weren't lost on us. And uh, 
thanks to CBS FM and the Rock and Roll Radio Greats Reunion, able to come in contact with Charlie the three decades later and to really maintain a, a, a real friendship with him, called him at, uh, at his home in, in Ohio. And all I can say on behalf of Sonny, who's uh, been working in Washington, D.C. for many, many years, Charlie Greer, you're going to be sorely missed. But you've joined that heavenly band of angels, that, that, that great stage, that great radio station in the sky. And all I can say is forevermore, Charlie Greer. Swing, Charlie. Swing. Hey, Joey. I used to do the morning show, and Charlie, of course, did the uh, all-nighter. And many's the many's the morning that I'd ride in and the Denison commercial. I don't know how many of you know this, but it got to be the real fad. I think that when uh, young people were out making love, that instead of listening to the music, they were listening to the Denison commercials. Charlie, sands of time cannot erode the memories that you inspire. When Charlie Greer is at the mic, he lifts our spirits higher. In evening hours, when all seems dark, he brightens skies with laughter, never-ending humor. And he gives us what we're after. Great music to a bonus with memories galore. Thank you, Charlie, for caring. Mm -hmm. We've no, no need to ask for more. Thank you, Herb. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost Charlie. And I must say, personally, I'm going to miss him very, very much. Charlie, if there's anybody that ever was able to listen in after they left this earth, I know that you probably are that guy. Charlie will always remember you, will always miss you. Charlie. One more time, please. Well, a good good morning, good people. This is Mrs. Greer's Skitty Boy Charlie, the poor man's nobody. And I've got music for you to one on Radio 77. <laughs> CBS FM, cousins, will always remember Charlie Greer. Joe McCoy, my boss just called up and uh, said, uh, he want to remind me, he said, you know, there was never a bigger fan of radio than Charlie Greer. He loved the music, he loved the station, he loved everything about it. And he, every time we did the uh, rock and roll radio greats reunion, Charlie would be here all day with his little camera taking pictures. I mean, he was the, the world's biggest fan of radio really was. Well, all of us remember him. This is your cousin BC, and this is CBS FM, and this goes out to Margaret, Millie, and Tom listening to the code. 101.1, this is the McCoys, cousins, where these are the McCoys, which is grammatically right. I don't know. Yes, yes.